Hi, my name is Greg Koopman. Today I want to talk to you about AZ Copy. AZ Copy is a utility program that allows you to copy files from your local computer to Azure Blob Storage. Now there is the old Blob Storage and there is a new Blob Storage. The new Blob Storage is called Gen 2. It is Storage Gen 2 and it also has file shares and some other types of storage. What we will be focusing on today though is being able to use AZ Copy with the Gen 2 Blobs file storage. This is not a comprehensive course on AZ Copy by any means. All I want to do is show you something where I ran into problems uh, trying to get the AZ Copy command to work with the Gen 2 blob files and that's the point of this whole video first I want to point out that AZ copy works the same as far as I can see through my testing the same for old blob storage as it does for the new gen 2 blob storage there are some things that don't work right or seem not to work right if you follow if you don't follow the steps that I want to explain to you. When I don't follow these steps, then I then I run into trouble and the AZ copy doesn't work. But if I follow the steps, it works fine. Lastly, I just want to show you a couple cool things that I found uh, really cool about the AZ copy command. I will show you how to copy and be more precise in what folders you target in your AZ copy. Okay, first you need to get AZ copy downloaded onto your computer. Um, so let's go ahead, you just go into this site here, and you Google AZ copy download, and you just come in here and you download it. In my case, it would be a Windows 64 bit, and you put it on to your, it's a single uh, file called AZ copy.exe, surprise. And um, as long as you have it in your path, you can really run it from anywhere on your command line. Now, when you run uh, AZ Copy, it will be from a command prompt, which is the Gen 2, which is this particular one, the, my AZ Copy Gen 2 blob storage, okay? And that pulls up a whole different one. Now, if I go to Overview and I go to Account Kind, you'll see Storage Version 2, which is my Gen Purpose, General Purpose V2. Okay, so that called Gen 2. All right, so let's just look at that storage explorer. Uh, and I look at my blob containers. Now, AZ copy doesn't work with files, shares, queues, and tables, only blobs. So what we have here is I put in two different containers, Gen 2 blob container 1 and, uh, and Gen 2 blob container 2. But again, nothing in them, okay? So those are our players there. Um, where my player over on my client side, okay, on my on my computer, where I'm going to copy files from, right? I'm going to copy files from my computer to um, these storage accounts, right? So let's just to see what I got there. So basically, here's my command prompt, and this is the the folder that I want to, that I have some uh, files in. Okay, so I have uh, about, what do I got? Five files, okay? So I have images, JPEG, note one, party, rolling eyes, subscribe, okay? Okay, so these files I'm going to copy using X, um, using AZ copy into those. And I'm gonna go to the AZ copy gen two blob storage. Okay, and it's containers. So the first one I want to send to Gen 2 Blob Container 1, right? So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'm going to go to Properties. I'm going to copy my URL. And I'm going to go back over to what I was using before and basically I'm just going to overwrite I'm going to delete out the old blob storage concept and 
and put place that in. Okay, now I'm going to back, go back out to the storage accounts. I'm going to go to my shared access signature. I'm going to generate a SA, uh, um, shared access signature token. And here it is. Now I also have these other areas. Don't copy those. Just copy this SAS token. It's very important. Any little bit can throw the whole thing out of whack. So it's very important to follow the steps exactly. So I can, I'm just going to paste it in there. Again, pasting in this situation is just right click. That's how you paste it. Okay, so now we have everything there. Let's just double check that folder to see if we have anything in there that we didn't know about. So I'm going to go over to blob containers. Nothing was in there. So now let's run it. Okay, so it looks like it started. Transfers completed. Oh, that ran fast. So now it looks like it completed successfully. So I'm going to jump back over to blob container one. And I'm going to go ahead and say more and refresh. And there it is. Okay, so things that I want to point out here um, that I made some mistakes. Um, and it's the way I located uh, some of the information. So, first of all, you could go over and jump over to Microsoft Azure Storage Explorer. Now, when you come over here, because I couldn't find the URL at first, um, so I tried a couple other things, right? So I went over here and I went to storage accounts. And let's say I went to gen, and this is why I was doing the gen blob. And I went into blob containers and I went in here and I clicked on it. And I looked and I didn't see any URLs there. Actually, there is a copy URL. Okay, but I saw something that looked really nice here which was get the shared access signature. So I went ahead and did that and created it here. And not only that, it had the whole thing it looked like to me. It had the blob storage, blob, gen, gen 2. It had everything I thought I needed in here. So then I copied this piece and I brought it back over here. Let's see what happens when I run that. So I'm going to go ahead and run it. That was when I pulled it from there and didn't do my own, that other, the, the way I... Okay, now I have one more thing to say here. Let's say, for example, I wanted to add, instead of putting it into this folder, this, uh, I'm aiming all the contents of the test folder into this folder called Gen2 Blob Container 1. Well, let's say I, I want to have a subfolder on the destination called Greg, a Greg folder. Okay, call it Greg folder. Will it create the Greg folder and put all this stuff in there? It does not exist right now. Will it create it? Let's see. All right, well, let's see if it did. This is a very important thing, especially when you're doing lots of extractions of different dates and things. I can see this being very useful. Um, let's just go ahead and see. So we come back over. I come over to my storage explorer, which has been pretty handy. I'm going to hit refresh. And sure enough, it created the Greg folder. Okay, in the Greg folder, and then it created all the stuff that was there and transferred in the Greg folder. So now the news folder. So I have all sorts. This is a very fantastic uh ability of of the az copy so whenever you put create new folders or if you want to if you create new folders it's going to create the folder over on the other side but at the same time if you want a destination folder that you want to put certain things in and create it on the other side just by the folder and then put everything in it you can also do that so it's a very powerful command beautiful okay this is very uh powerful stuff 
Okay, well, thanks for watching, and I hope this helped you.